hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. That everything's just some horrible prank. Yeah... Because... Aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Have you ever watched The Matrix? Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. You think the family's buying all this? Ah, let me just act like I'm your prince. All right, look, we'll restore all the dreams back to normal. Yeah, of course. At times like this, we're so lucky to have our crew. The family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Yep. Uh, all drunk off a of soul glad. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. I have no idea. Perhaps he's going for the hotel. Perhaps he's going for the family. Perhaps he's going for Acheron. Perhaps he's going for the Astral Express. No conclusions can be drawn just yet. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Aventurine said something that concerns me. What? He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that Memory Zone meme or why he was stalking you. That's true. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. But why? He's bluffing. Maybe Adventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. We got too many smart people here. However, I asked Don Hong back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. Really? You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? She's amazing. <clears throat> She's a very gentle woman. She's a very mysterious woman. She's a very powerful woman. Where did I get to remember? Why would you give me all these options if I have to pick? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? 
Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh, hold on. I feel like I'm, I'm not part of this conversation. Huh? Aw, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh, well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. What's going on here? Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? What? <gasps> I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared out like that. What? Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Well. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. He's just laying it all out there. Wow. Okay. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. What? So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Welt. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. That's me. I'm the Stellaron. Is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. 
Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. Y you better accept that drink. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. What is going on? At the same time, Hotel in the Real World... I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to soul glad. Oh, and wow. she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch, this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. That's creepy. The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you, what exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. What? Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Father. Well done. Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep, merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. When have those on the path of destruction feared death? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. 
There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. What? <gasps> what? What happened? It's completely blocked out. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way... It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Who are you? What? Who are you? It's... It's who? No. Is this not a memory? What? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Constance? A to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Is that so? But that seems unrealistic. Dahlia's not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. This is so mysterious. Oh. A phone. Wanna listen in? I want to destroy it. At this moment, on the other side, 